Hello friends, welcome, welcome to this channel. I am Arun Kumar and this is Chemistry Crafters with Bono. Today we will discuss what is the role of tinopal in liquid detergent and also what will happen if we are adding excess amount of tinopal in liquid detergent. Tinopal is not a surfactant. Tinopal is not a builder or any cleaning material. It is a optical brightener. It will improve the visual appearance of the fabrics. It will give more color to the colored fabrics and also it will give more white and brightening effect to the white fabrics. Because of the inclusion of a tinopal, many branded liquid detergents tend to climb in the label as color guard, color protecting mechanism, so many technical terms they are using. We will try to understand the mechanism in simple way. Look at this dress. This is black color fabric. There are some uh, tiny glass particles are pasted. Due to that uh, it looks more brighter. Even at a distance we can see the cloth. So the reason is that tiny glass particles. Without glass particles it is not having that much of visual effect. Tinopal will tend to deposit over the surface of the washed fabrics. This will act like a tiny glass particles. If light is falling on the surface of the fabrics, what will happen? That tinopal will absorb the UV radiations from sunlight and will release visible rays. So instantly we are getting some brightening effect whether it is colored fabrics or white fabrics whatever it is. So Tinopal is not doing anything with fabrics it is just doing some optical phenomenon. Generally for liquid detergent from 0.1% to 0.2% is sufficient. I mean for 1 liter liquid detergent either 1 gram or maximum 2 gram is sufficient. In my formulations I used to put only 0.5 grams for 1 liter of liquid detergent. I feel this is ok. This is sufficient quantity for my formulations. Again let us consider the same example, same dress. Without tiny glass particles, this fabric is not having appealing effect. With this much of glass particles, it looks brighter. It is having some appealing visual effect. Just imagine, uh, throughout the entire surface, this type of glass particles are pasted. Whether is it any good? No. We cannot see the original color of the fabrics. That fabric will lose its originality. So throughout the fabric there are some whitening effect we can see. So it may be considered as a negative impact. The negativity depends upon the extent of how much excess quantity we are adding. Actually it is not the chemical name. Tinopol is a brand name of BASF. BASF is a German based multinational company. Something like 100 years before they have introduced Tinopol in laundry detergents. Till today they didn't disclose the composition maintaining as a trade secret. Even though the exact composition, the exact chemistry inside the Tinopol is a trade secret. The main common end is not trade secret, it is known to everyone and throughout the world many detergent companies have developed equivalent to tinopol or either better than tinopol. 
BASF itself have developed so many updated variants of Tinopol.